Uh, looks like on our channel we are about to reach uh, 13,000 subscribers. So I want to thank all of you who have been uh, liking the videos, sharing the videos, uh, even in other languages. You guys are sharing it all over the world. It's just amazing. So thank you. It would not be possible without you. Now, one of the things we know is new levels. With new levels come new devils. So there are now people who are trying to uh, shut us down, people who would like uh, the message that we are taking out to not go to as many people as it is reaching. So what we've done is we've just decided to create uh, two channels. So we're going to run two channels concurrently so that if anything happens, if YouTube, let's say, pull us down, erase all our videos like they have for other YouTube uh, channel makers, then you guys will not miss anything at all. So what I'm asking our friends to do is continue to stay subscribed on this channel, but then also go to the new channel, the second channel, which is almost the same address instead of Discover Ministries, it's Discover Ministries TV, all right? Discover Ministries uh, TV. And we're just doing that as a precaution, um, and, uh, but I hope you guys are going to benefit from it because what we're going to do with the new channel is we're going to put in uh, put up new languages. So you're going to see um, Portuguese is there already uh, soon. Uh, we're going to have Russian, uh, Spanish subtitling, uh, French subtitling. I think uh, Japanese is coming as well. So uh, pray for us. We're really trying to help you uh, help other people. We're also going to put up uh, new teaching. Uh, I'm going to do an update called uh, the 21 Future Events predicted in the book of Revelation. All right, this is as clear as I can make the uh, cycles of sevens in the book of Revelation. There are three cycles of sevens, the seven seals, seven trumpets, seven bowls, and uh, hopefully it's going to be uh, the clearest that you've ever heard the book of Revelation. And that's, that's going to be my aim. Uh, the Lord's also given me some, some fresh insight into the whole Ezekiel 38-39 war. People still assume that Ezekiel 38-39 will be an invasion by Russia. I did an update on our uh, present channel about will Russia invade Israel. Please check that out and have a look at it. You know, if we get our eyes off of Russia, then it's going to be clear. I think our eyes uh, need to be on Syria because Syria may be the key that will solve what I'm calling this unresolved problem. Now, I'm going to give a new name to the Ezekiel 38-39 war that I've not heard other people call it, but I believe that it may well be the Purim war. All right, just like in 1973 there was a, a Yom Kippur war, I believe that we are uh, anticipating a Purim war. And um, I'd like to take time to explain that another another session. So a lot of good things coming up. Please go to the new channel, Discover Ministries TV, uh, click it, subscribe it, share it. And what I'd like to do is not only to prevent uh, any glitches, uh, any erasing of um, videos or video channels, uh, but I'd like to see that we double. You know, with your help, we can double the subscribers to 26,000. Uh, Eight Super Science is uh, already reaching, has reached a quarter of a million people, and I believe that uh, we'll get to a million people. Amen. So we're going to reach people because uh, it's not our message. It's God's message. It's what He's trying to tell us uh, in the end times. Now, the Bible says this in 1 Timothy chapter 4. Let's just go through a couple of uh, scriptures today together. Um, this is just one that I was reading in my daily devotion, 1 Timothy chapter 4. And uh, we'll just pick up on verse 1. Now the Spirit expressly says that in the latter times, right? that's our time right now, the latter times, some will depart from the faith. All right, some, who are we talking about? What's God saying to us? Some means some Christians. These are people who uh, uh, have known God, who are in the faith. This word, some, does not refer to some unbelievers. The word is depart. It doesn't mean that uh, people, Christians, will be forced to leave their faith, but some will voluntarily give up what they once believe. They will give up 
their church going habit, their tithing habit, their serving in ministry habit. They take a break from ministry, they take a break from church. And I understand, you know, it's, it's tiresome to be in a spiritual war all the time. All right, let's take a look at uh, the New English translation. Now the Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times, some will depart or some will desert the faith and occupy themselves with deceiving spirits and demonic teachings, influenced by the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared. You know, I, I read all your comments. I'm sorry that I can't get to all of them, but I really do try to respond to, to uh, you know, many of you. And uh, recently I got a letter from a lady who said that uh, she's just so uh, bitter and so angry at her husband who left her and um, uh, ended up having uh, several children with this other wife. And she said that, well, you know, as much as she's learning from the Word of God and all that, uh, she's decided she'd rather go to hell than to forgive her ex-husband. And I just felt for her. I just thought, wow, that's, you know, it is painful. But um, I wrote a letter to her and uh, all she wrote back to me was, nice try. But you know, she's still going to choose to go to hell. And that, now that's, a, that's an example, maybe an extreme example of someone who voluntarily departs from the faith. They abandon what they know is right. They abandon, they give up what they know is true because they won't let go. And you know, it's just, to me, it's scary. If, if you miss heaven and you go to hell just because of a, a hardened heart, because you're stubborn and you won't change your mind, to me, that's just a, a risk that's, that's way beyond, I mean, you got to look at the pros and cons. It just, it's way beyond reason. It, it's, it takes a deception, the Bible says, from seducing spirits and doctrines of demons to be able to abandon your faith like that. You know, we know the parable of the sower, the four soils, gives us a pretty uh, startling statistic that 75% of people who hear the Word of God will actually produce no fruit at all and really uh, abandon their faith. Some in good times, some in bad time, and some just, you know, from the very first moment they hear, it seems to kind of go in one ear and out the other. That's the wayside. 